<clears throat> I might go for a walk. I might drop in on Becky when I check out the action. Mm -hmm. you be doing? You know, you weren't here. I don't want to think about it. No, I mean, what would you like to do? You borrow my magazines and you've got all these books. You must dream of something. Yeah, but I like it here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so what'd you score in the hot lover quiz? Give me a break. I scored 95. I just sort of made it up as I went along. Your mum know you're here? <laughs> oh, please. She's watching some dirty French movie. She can barely speak. It will be good though, won't it? I mean, it's great. I'm not an expert, Jodie. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, it, it can be a complete waste of two minutes, if you know what I mean. But then you meet a guy with a few clues and it can be good. It can be great, even. <sighs> I knew it. And then you start to make a habit out of it. <sighs> Package froze on me again. Okay. Night. Night. Farm girl. A beach then. Midnight. Mm -hmm. After a naked swim. <laughs> How romantic is that? Oh, with the waves crashing on the shore and the seagulls calling from a distance. Actually, I'm pretty tired. I'm really tired, to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. <clears throat> Might have another shower. It's still pretty hot, eh? It's not good, is it? No. No, it's not. Well, since she's seen us and all, maybe we can... Terry! <sighs> Jody. Jody, listen to me. I'm sorry. I was going to tell you how long? You too. A long time. Years. Oh. It, it suits us what we have. It's uncomplicated. Terry's a good friend. 
and he's really the best you can do. You might like to think before you open your mouth again. I need to see. Oh, can I pack that for you? You girl with ants in your pants. Yeah, fair size swag. Who are you off to, really? I'm going to Sydney. Oh, it's an awful place. Yeah, and lukewarm tea in the dust beats it every time. Too right, every time. If I stay another week here, I am going to go nuts with boredom. You must know what that's like, driving up and down this road every single day. There's nothing wrong with this road. Lots of stuff happens. How do you reckon I've got this? Yeah. Yeah, it was smoko, just like today. And I picked up a hitchhiker, just like you, and it was a bloke. Well, what did he do? Not him, it. The brown snake, a big brownie. In any case, this fella wanted it. He wanted to put it in some bloody old fish tank he'd got. Oh, that's a bloody stupid idea if you ask me. In any case, he wanted it, so I got it for him. Only thing was, I had me copper in this hand, so I used the other one. Probably that was a mistake, because it sunk its fangs in real deep. Well, I was all right to begin with, and then it bit me a couple more times. Well, how did it do that? Well, I let go of it the first time it bit me, didn't I? Then I had to pick it up again. Well, I shook it in a bag and I had a curse and a swear and a bit of an up chuck and then I fell over. Oh. And this fellow had to drive me truck and keep smacking me around the head to keep me conscious. The next thing I knew, I woke up in hospital with it. Well, without it, more to the point. So don't tell me the bush is dull. Yeah, what? Great timing. <laughs> Jodie will say we've been parking. <laughs> or worse. Can you hurry it up a bit? It's not my fault the bloody ute hasn't been looked after and there's hardly any oil, no water. Who's supposed to check it? She's had a lot in her mind lately. Well, it's not going to help Claire if she has to replace a motor because the block's cracked, is it? I know, I know. She's such a kid. Uh, could you get the water for us? She won't listen to anything I say. Won't take any advice. No, I'll stone her up. And what's worse is she's actually starting to push me around. Is she crazy, all right? Um, could you start the car, please? I've got to talk to her. I've got to make her understand a few things. I haven't got the faintest idea how. Well, don't ask me for ideas. I mean, teenage girls are a complete mystery to me, especially when I was a teenage boy. I'll start it myself, will I? Sorry, sorry. You know, maybe I should make myself scarce for a while, you know, things settle down. Bugger that. OK, bad idea. I'll talk to her. I'll sort her out. Don't you worry about that. Meg, you know, I'll be really pissed off if we die out here. Would you mind starting the flaming car so I can put some water in the radiator? Only have to ask, Terry. couple of weeks. She's a pretty amazing lady. Do you know what time the bus comes in? Yeah. They've needed her this last 20 years, you know. Help kept the place going. Yeah, so I've been told. Uh, the bus, what time? 
Fuck, I forgot to drop these off at Torellis's. Well, what about getting back to town? It don't take a half hour, 45 minutes time. Oh, just stop here, right? This is fine. This is nowhere, love. I'll get another lift. Thanks. Well, take care. Yeah, this far. Gotta lift with Bob. That's that thing with his arm. It's creepy. The crocodile? No, the snake. You're gonna believe everything you told in the city too? <sighs> so what's going on, Joe? Why the dash? Mum and Terry. It's been going on for years and I didn't know. Plus, they're both really old. It's gross. I walked in on my mum 12 years ago, didn't drive me out of town. Maybe your dad didn't do it with his socks on. It was my dad. Joe, consenting adults, Meg and Terry, they're allowed. Sure they're allowed, it's just... She could have told me. You're a kid, give her a break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jody, don't skip breakfast. And Jody, if you can't clean your teeth, eat an apple. Tell me my mum loves me, I'll scream. Your mum loves you. 